Hi friends, it's James and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this is part 9 in creating a Discord bot in Python. In this episode, we're going to be looking at embeds. What is an embed? Well, it's this. It's this box that our box produces when you type a command. So let me just quickly go over it if you don't know what it is. So it's just basically another way of your bot providing information. And to be fair, it does look pretty cool. As you can see here, we've got like a thumbnail in the corner. We've got a title description, multiple fields, a footer, also who it was sent by. And in this video, I'm going to be going over exactly how to do all of this, plus more. Some cool other little funky features that we can incorporate into this. Just before we jump into it though, I just want to quickly say that I've got a Discord server. So if you've got any problems when creating your bot, then feel free to ask them on there. Or you can join it anyway, even if you don't have any problems. We'd love to have you. Also, I received a couple of DMs on Instagram from a couple of you guys uh, suggesting to set up a Patreon. After thinking about it, I decided to. So if you'd like to support me, then there'd be a link in the description. However, please, please do not feel pressured at all to donate anything. Just watching those videos support me more than enough and I can't thank you all so much. But anyway, let's jump in. Let's jump into creating it. Let's jump into coding it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a command. And we're just going to call this command to demonstrate the embed message. So you could set this up. So instead of it being a command, so instead of the user having to type, let's say, I don't know, in our case, in the example I just previously showed you at the beginning of this video, I had it when the user types exclamation mark embed, then it would send that embed. But that was just purely for an example. What you could do is you could set it up so maybe that if a, it detects that a user sends a specific message. So let's say the user sends dog in chat. And you can set it up so your bot will detect the word dog and it will reply with an embed. Maybe the image could be a picture of a dog with maybe a couple of descriptions about dogs potentially. You see what I'm going with this. But just for the example of this, I'm going to be just creating a command because that's the best way for me to demonstrate it. But don't feel that you have to do a command, as I said, like a dog example that I just gave. So to create the command, I'm just going to quickly do that. So at client, I can't spell, dot command, open and close brackets. Async, oops, no, oops, not inside that. There we go. Then async def embed, open and close, ctx, colon. There you go. I just set up a basic function with the name of embed. So that's how we're going to call it to test it out. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to create a very basic embed message. And to do this, we're going to do this. We're going to type embed is equal to discord dot embed is uh, sorry, open brackets. Then title is equal to and then you can give it a name, whatever title that you want. So let's just call it. Um, let's go back to the dog example. Let's call it dog. And then we need to give it a URL. So let's specify that. So to do this is um, we do it like this. We type URL is equal to uh, double speech marks, and then you input the URL here. And let's just let's just take it to Google because you know why not. And when you're typing in your URL, make sure it has HTTP or HTTPS at the beginning with a colon and two forward slashes because this is what Discord, the embed part of Discord package requires. And then afterwards, we want to put another comma and we want to type description like that. And it is equal to, and then we can give it any description. So let's just say, uh, we love dogs. There we go. And the last thing that we need to specify for our basic embed is to color. And to do this, we type color is equal to, and then we need to specify a hex, a hex color. If you don't know what a hex is, it's like another version of binary. I could go into a lot more detail about it, but I'm just going to keep it at that for now. But how do you find out these hex colors? Well, I'll leave a link in the description to this website here, HTML Color Picker on W3 Schools. And let's say you want a color. Let's say you want, let's say green. You could type in green here or you can use the picker here. 
And then let's say, I don't know, you like this colour. If you click it, you can see here that when we click it, and then when we scroll down, you can see here it's highlighted. And in the hex column here, we want to copy this. This is our hex value. And then we can go back to our code. And in our code, we can paste it here. So like that. And then before here, you just want to put uh, 0x like that. There you go. We've now put our hex color in. However, one last thing that we need to do before we can run this is to actually tell our bot to send the embed to the chat. So to do this, we could type await ctx.send. Oops, can't spell. It's open and close brackets. Embed is equal to embed. There we go. Save. And now we can run it. So let's run it and head to Discord. So let's call our function. So we called it embed. And then when you run it here, you could see we've sent, we've created an embed. And so let me explain now what the title, the description, and the colour represent. So the title is this, the dog, it's the thing that stands out. And you know how we specified a URL? That's because we can click on this dog, and you can see here that when we click on it, it's, um, Discord is just telling us, it's like a safety warning, do you want to go to Google? And you can click yes if you want to. Basically, the title is a URL. You can direct it to any website you want. And now the description is just for text below it. So what we typed is, we love dogs. And the colour that we inputted is this colour on the side. It's the little highlighted thing on the side of our embed message, which looks pretty cool. And like, as you can see on the example previously, I had a red one, which also looks cool. So any hex colour would work. But let's now make this embed a bit more complicated. Let's add an author. And let me show you what that is. So let's, let me show you the code for it, and then I'll explain what it does and what it will show you, as that will make a bit more sense when explaining. So to create an author, we're going to type embed dot set underscore author, open and close brackets, name is equal to uh, double speech marks, and then whatever the name you want. So let's put my name, so James S. And now a URL. And this URL could be a link to like maybe your Instagram account or your Twitter account or the author's social media account, if that makes sense. So let, I'm going to put my Instagram account. So I've pasted it. And there we go. If you're not following me on Instagram, please do. There's a link in the description. And now we need to set the icon URL. This is the picture of the author. So to do this, we type icon underscore URL is equal to and then the link. A link to the URL. This can be a link to um, a file that maybe you have saved locally. Uh, you'd have to do it slightly differently though. However, it recommends that you use an online link. So for the purpose of this, as I don't have any images of me online that I can access through a link, I've just grabbed a random link of a sunset. And we're going to use this as my profile picture. So let's save this and let me show you what it does. And then I can actually explain exactly what this set author does. So if we rerun our command in Discord, you can see here, we've now got an author at the top. And you can use this author to show who this embed message is coming from. So maybe you want it so it's coming from yourself. So as I said, your name and then a profile picture. And also, your name is now a link, so if we click it, it's going to take me to my Instagram profile, or whatever profile or link that you set it to. Normally, you want your author link to go to that author's social media page. However, you don't have to. But now let me show you a little cool, sneaky little thing that we can do. If we change the name here, and we remove our brackets, and we replace it with ctx.author.display underscore name, there we go. I'll explain in a second what this actually does. And now if we go to our icon URL and we do the same here, we remove the double speech marks and we replace it with ctx, oops, dot author, dot avatar, underscore, oops, underscore URL, and then save. And, let, and now let's rerun this and let me show you what this does. You can see here now that when we rerun our command, the author now is the person who sent the command, the one who's triggering our bot to send the embed in the first place. So you can see here, that's my profile, that's my Discord profile picture. So we're grabbing my Discord profile picture, and we're grabbing the nickname of me on this server. So in my case, it's I love bots. 
and is grabbing it and putting it as the author name. So let's say you had multiple people on a server that has access to an embed command. And you what you don't want it so it says from just one person. So let's say you have two people, Sam and Sally. And the author is, we just coded it, hard coded it in, that the author will always be Sam. And let's say Sally sends an embed message. Then it would still say the author is Sam even though we wanted the same say Sally. So by using that CTX author, we can grab whoever sends that command and puts it into the author. So that's a really clever way in what we can do. I hope that makes sense in what I've explained. And so the next thing we're going to add is the thumbnail. So it's a little image here. And so to do this, we can do this. We could do embed dot set underscore thumbnail open and close brackets, URL is equal to speechbox. And now this can be any URL you want, any thumbnail that you want. So in my case, I've just grabbed a random sunset mountain view thing, and we're just going to use that. However, you can use whatever you want. And remember again, for this URL, it requires you to have HTTP or HTTPS before it, as that's what Discord PY requires you. So now if we run, run this and we head back to Discord and we rerun the command, you can see now we have an image. Look at that now. We've now got an image in our embed message, which looks really cool and very nice. So that's how we can implement thumbna thumbnails. And let's say, let's say this for an example, you, ha you could specify the URL that you want as the thumbnail in your original command. So you could get it so our code to text the URL that's being passed in through this command here. And it will basically input it into this URL section here, which is maybe something that you want to do. And now, now what we're going to do is we're going to move on from thumbnails, from images, and we're going to move on to adding extra fields. So we're going to move on to creating fields like this, like next to each other like this with different information. So... Let's do that now. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and again, we're going to type embed dot add underscore field, open and close brackets. Name is equal to speech marks, comma, value. I'll come back in a second and fill these in. Value is equal to uh, double speech marks. Again, I'll come back and fill this in in a second. And then inline is equal to true. And now let's go back and fill it in. So let's give it a name. So let's just say, um, let, as we're doing our example on dogs, let's just give it the title name of a breed of dogs. So let's say Labrador. There we go. And then let's say we're going to just give it a value saying um, cute dogs. There we go. Okay, so now, so let me explain. So name is just the title name, the title of the field. So this field here, so as you see here is field one, this in our case would be Labrador, as you can see here. So that's the title and the value is like the description. So what's below it? And this inline, this being set, to, this can either be set to true or false. And this is very clever in what it does. So if inline is set to true, then let's say we had another add field. So yeah, let's do this and let me show you. So let's say we have another add field and let's give it another name so it doesn't make it confusing. So let's just tr uh, change it to a different breed saying pugs, for example. There we go. And now let's, uh, let's make sure inline is set to true. So we've now got two inlines is equal to true. So let's run it and let me show you what this does. Let me show you what inline being equal to true actually does. So you can see here that inline being set to true means that our two fields that we just created, the two titles and description are on the same line. They are next to each other. But if we disable inline and we set it equal to false and we rerun our code, let me show you what this does. You can see here that it will separate it out onto separate lines. So that's what inline does. It basically means that if it's set to true, then it will be on the same line. If it's set to false, then it will be separate like this. However, I always think it looks pretty cool when they're together on the same line. But that that's not always the case. It depends on what you're needing it to, to do. However, in our case, as we're just creating a dog embed message, we're going to have it on the same line. And the last thing to do with embeds is the footer. So we can to do this, we do embed dot set underscore footer is open and close brackets. Text is equal to. And now we can say anything you really want. So maybe um, like, I don't know. Thank you for uh, reading. I don't know. Anything really that you really want to put in a footer. 
And again, you don't need to have a foot or fields or even a thumbnail if you wanted to. It is basically any of these can be what you want it to be, if that makes sense. Anyway, so let me just show you what a footer does. So, so if we go back to Discord, you can see here that a footer is just basically very small text at the bottom, as a footer would be. And there's different use cases you could have for it. Maybe you could potentially want it to display the author's name again, potentially, or I don't know. Uh, maybe copyright it. There's, you see what I mean. It, it's just basically small text at the bottom of a page of the embed message, like you would have on a web page. But that now kind of brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful, and I hope you've now learned how you can create embed messages with Discord PY. If you've got any questions, feel free to join my Discord server. If you've got any ideas or videos that you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to create one on what you suggest. But yeah, please do also consider giving this video a like as it would really help it out in the YouTube algorithm. And while you're down there, please do consider subscribing. But anyway, I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya!